So welcome. We've been talking about step one of exercise one. And we are trying to observe the imagination in the cell, particularly trying to see the thoughts and the feelings at the base of the thoughts. So we said that yesterday, and we have been saying it before also, that if we can sit down by ourselves at a quiet time for us, at a quiet place where we are likely to be undisturbed for about 15 to 20 minutes at a time. And if we are able to just see what is going on in the imagination, perhaps write it down. Of course, you will not be able to write down all the thoughts, but whatever you are able to write down, you will notice that many, many thoughts are going on. And with that thought, there is an associated feeling. So the feeling may be a little harder to catch or you may not be aware of it at that time. But the thought might be more apparent. And so if you can do this once or twice a day, it will be a focused effort on this. In addition to this, we said we can remind ourselves several times during the day. It could be a mental reminder. It could be something physical, like putting an alarm on the phone or putting a sticky note or something like that. Or it could just be a mental reminder during the various activities that from time to time, you want to check what kind of thoughts you are having, what kind of feeling you are having, either at that moment or in the last one hour or two hours. And every two hours, you could put an alarm or a reminder like that. And so on. I mean, there could be many ways of doing it. The idea is to try and remember to look within. Because the more we look within, the more we will be able to look within. That ability will sharpen, will grow. Our competence in this will increase as we keep with the practice. But in the beginning, it may seem like a difficult task because we are so used to looking outside that this may seem like a burden. And it may seem like, oh, when is this time going to get over? But as we keep doing it, we will find that it is um, not so burdensome. In fact, it is very relaxing to be able to just observe. So, um, I find that this is a simple step in the sense that you just have to observe. But it is also the most important step. Because if there is no observation, then there is nothing further you can do, isn't it? If we observe the thoughts, if we observe the feelings, then we can do something with that. At least we can know that what, what we are thinking, what we are feeling. But if we are not observing and we are not aware of what we are thinking and feeling, then there is nothing further we can do because then we just think that everything is out there. Jagdish Babuji. Namaste, Devi. Namaste. Namaste to all co-explorers. Um, when I started doing this observation of my imagination, initially, mm -hmm. I used to get headache and I used to <laughs> focus uh, too much and then uh, I used to analyze the thoughts yes. that is but nowadays uh, it's not there I'm not getting headache because uh, now I, you're really observing <laughs> yeah, I'm not analyzing I'm not reacting I'm just observing yes. and I'm not uh, avoiding uh, any thoughts 
so whatever comes i am observing it mm-hmm. most of the time i am uh, contemplating uh, what is my role why nice. this feeling is coming to me but uh, few times i am flowing in the uh, this uh, thoughts mm-hmm. so very few occasions uh, when i am uh, not observing with awareness i am reacting uh, to the situation mm-hmm. and i am uh, not seeing or uh, not observing it i am mm-hmm. flowing with the thought yes so and then later i am analyzing what happened and all those things. Yes. so this is my uh, observation nice very nice the self observation or self awareness of observing our imagination at any moment observing the desire the feeling associated with it the thought and expectation at the moment particularly trying to observe the feeling so observe your feeling going on at any moment as it is without trying to evaluate it without reacting to it without trying to stop it sometimes you may think oh no what am i thinking and you just change the thought now, now you have gone from b1 to b2 because now you are thinking about it and you are trying to change thoughts but if you just go back to observing without trying to change or trying to stop whatever thoughts and feelings you have without trying to react to it or evaluating it in the first step we are just trying to see it as it is this is important even though we will evaluate it later why we are not evaluating now is because a lot of times in that thought that we are evaluating we tend to start analyzing and we forget about observing so once we are comfortable with observing then we will go to the next few steps also and i think we have spent sufficient time on the step 1 and we will keep coming back to step 1 again and again because in the future steps also whatever we need to do it will depend on what we have seen so you will notice that as we go further in the steps also this step 1 has to keep happening continuously because only when we observe can we do something about it so when you are observing also if you notice that your imagination has drifted somewhere else you were not aware and you started flowing with your thoughts with your feelings so we don't need to get upset we don't have to get you know feel guilty or have that feeling that oh again i i you know some people say we we um, fell or we um you know something wrong happened so not like that we can just become aware that we drifted no need to get upset just note that i have drifted and now i need to continue to observe so come back to observing and when you come back to observing you don't have to try to see okay where was i observing now let me go back to that only because so many other thoughts now have come so no need to do all that just from now from this moment on let me start observing whatever is coming to me and you will notice that whatever is important will keep coming up and you will notice that in your imagination so just continue with that decision that i need to observe my imagination observe whatever is going on just pay attention to what is going on in the imagination what are the thoughts what are the feelings don't react and if you want you can you know if you in the beginning you might want to write down so that you have more clarity about what is going on inside 
yes so shall we do this now we'll uh, for 10 minutes we'll try to observe what is happening in our imagination we'll try to observe the thoughts the feelings at the base of the thought very nice can we go to the next slide yeah so this is what we have to do what we have been doing we have to keep doing this we have to try to observe our imagination all the time every moment because we want happiness every moment then we have to see what is going on every moment inside try and notice these things try and notice that how long your attention is staying on your imagination you'll notice that many times it is drifting but if we are not observing we won't know when it is drifting also if you are observing you will notice that okay last 20 minutes i was not observing i had drifted away or so on whatever so you notice that many times during the day we have drifted and that's when we might be thinking that there is no imagination that may be one of the times when we think that there is no imagination because we are not aware notice if your imagination stays on one topic or it keeps shifting from one topic to another this i think many of us who are observing are able to notice that the topic of imagination the focus of the imagination the object of the imagination keeps shifting like amul ji was sharing the other day if your attention goes somewhere else where does it go what do you pay attention to did you decide the object of attention yourself with awareness or does it seem to be happening without awareness by itself and try to observe the feeling the thought and expectation separately in your imagination particularly the feeling note down your observations in a journal several times in the course of the day if possible at least every 4 hours so that we can do this work intensely otherwise what will happen is either we don't observe or we observe maybe once in the day and then we forget about it and when we are doing our activities so it may seem like there is no imagination when we are doing routine stuff but if we do what we were talking about putting reminders or doing some thing to remind us to check within you will notice that this imagination is going on all the time it is the important thing is when am i paying attention to it and when am i not paying attention to it so we'll do this does anybody have any questions on this okay time is also up so we'll do this assignment today and we'll take your observations tomorrow